The veil of Allah restrains the glory of Allah. Was the veil created or uncreated? What do you mean by veil? Your sources say that the attribute of the glory of Allah's face is restrained by the veil of Allah. So he doesn't know what a veil is. Suddenly he doesn't know what a veil is. He doesn't know what a veil is. Then that means Muslims can have no objection to God limiting his attributes in the incarnation. Because if he can veil himself in light, why can he not veil himself in flesh? So, do you believe Jesus was God? He's a male. Do you believe? Yes, uh -huh. Jesus took a human nature to himself that was male. What's what your point? What gender? It was male. Male, so God is a male. So, let's address this point because okay. Muslims don't understand the argument. So, God yeah. is a male. God so, God has become. so, firstly, firstly, we don't say that the divine has a gender. But just like Muslims address God in the masculine, so. In the Bible, God is addressed as the masculine as well. We say that Jesus Christ took to it the Logos, the divine took to itself a human nature. That human nature was male. There is no problem in saying that the person of Jesus Christ was male. That is not saying that the divine has gender, it's saying that the person of Christ in his humanity had a gender. That's a different Wait, statement. Should you listen before you make a statement? No, but exactly, exactly. They, they just ask questions and then abuse you. Yeah, you're right. You're right. He's got no manners. You got no manners. He asked a question and interrupt continuously. So now let me ask you a question. 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 Now, you a question. now notice again, once again, you can't have a calm conversation with the Dai. You can't have a calm conversation with the Dai. Was Mary does, pregnant with Jesus? Does the veil of Allah? No, 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 no. We're doing question for question. I've answered your question. Now you answer my question. You've, I've answered your question. Now you answer mine. The veil, the veil of Allah. The veil of Allah. Does that restrain? Does that restrain Allah's light? Allah's nur. Yes, does it restrain? Does the veil of Allah restrain his light? How can it restrain it? Right. So he doesn't know his hadiths. Doesn't know his hadiths. You're an expert on hadith now. Which hadith? We're gonna, I'm going to find it for you. Hadith? Going to find it for you. You know what hadith I had? Going to find it for you. Going to find it for you. You know the fiqh? Literally going to find it for you. You know the fiqh of hadith? Literally going to find it for you. You don't even know your own Bible. So, bro, bro. No, no, no. No, no, no. I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you. You know the fiqh of hadith? You don't know your own faith. You know, okay, read it to me in Arabic. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to no, show Why do I need to read Arabic? No, no, no. This is in England. He's an expert. He's an expert. How many Muslims expert. don't know Arabic? He's an expert. How many Muslims don't know Arabic? The Quran was with Always with the same sound bites. Yeah, translation. Same sound bites. You Are you scared of your Quran? You rely on translation. You rely on translation. You're saying that Muslims got Arabic wrong. Right. You rely on translation. Right. No, we're looking for the one where the, the veil prevents, if it wasn't for the veil, it would destroy creation. No. Yeah, can you help him? Can you help him? So, so why does it matter if it's in Arabic then? I'm not Arab. Well, why does it matter if it's in Arabic? 2435. Yeah, but I mean, he's born here. He's born here. It's not hard to learn. He's born here. You sound like you sound like you're Right, listen. So why would listen. Is it hard you, to learn listen. Language? Listen, I'm going to show you. Bro, I'm going to expose him because he doesn't know his own religion. Ah, okay. I said I you, that yeah, the veil of Allah okay. restrains the light of Allah. Yeah. And he said, how could that be? That's nonsense. I was making it up. So here's the hadith that proves I was right. The hadith is, listen, listen, Sunan Ibn Majah 196, the messenger of Allah said, Allah does not sleep and it is not befitting that he should sleep. He lowers the scales and raises them. His veil is light and if he were to remove it, the glory of his face would burn everything of his creation as far as his gaze reaches.
No! Answer me this! Answer me this! Answer me this! Literally! Have you? No, stop off your skating! Stop off your skating! I've read your sources! Your sources! Your sources say that the attribute of the glory of Allah's face is restrained by the veil of Allah. So answer me this, because he's not talking now. No, he doesn't. He's just making noise. He's just making noise. He's just making noise. No, no. So can you answer my question or not? So no, 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 no. Answer my question. Uh, no, 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 no. Okay. So all the time. All right, we'll do question for question. No, I, I've asked you a question. I proved you wrong. Now you ask me a question. You ask me who Ibn Majr is. I would say that Ibn Majr is a collector of hadith. Collector. Yes, is that right? Oh, wait, wait, he's a collector. Is that right? Okay, and who did he study? No, 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 one question for one question. So I've answered your question. Now you answer my question. Now you answer my question. The veil of Allah restrains the glory of Allah. Was the veil created or uncreated? What do you mean by veil? No, no, no. Explain, question explain. for question. No, no, okay. explain what veil question means. for question. I don't know what veil means. So he doesn't know what a veil is. No. Suddenly he <laughs> doesn't know what a veil is. He doesn't know what a veil is. Bro, I can't help you. I can't help you. Explain to me what bro, is a veil. Bro, you can't answer the question. That's fine. What is a veil? So that's fine. A veil is something that covers something else. It hides something else. So now, so now answer the question. Now I explain a veil. Now I explain a veil. Answer the question. Was the veil? I've just shown you he was. According to Ibn Majah, he was. According to your prophet, he was. According to your prophet, he was. I just quoted the hadith. You weren't listening. You should have paid attention. I just quoted the hadith. I just quoted the hadith. The Quran oversees the hadith. So, so answer the question. Are we just going to talk over one another? Are we going to talk over one another? Yes, not, who is Ibn Majah? Come on, tell me. So look, where did he study? Look, you, 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 you can obfuscate as much as you want. You can obfuscate as much as you want. Okay, listen, look. Look, in Sunan, look, bro, I'm giving you the reference. Sunan Ibn Majah, number 195. Those are your hadiths. Answer the question. May God guide you, bro. You're being lied to by Satan. And just like that, they run away. Just like that. So, this hadith... You can't quote the hadith because you pronounce the Arabic name incorrectly. Apparently. Oh no! Oh dear me! Oh dear me! Oh no! Pronounce the name incorrectly. So that means I can't quote hadith. Oh no! This is Dai logic. Dai logic. Let me, let me ask you this question. Do you, do you agree with that hadith about the veil this, of so, Allah? So, no, in, no, 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 I'm not. I'm alive. asking you. No, 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 I'm no, asking no, you. No, no, I'm not. No, it says. No, no, no. no, no, no. I'm asking you. Why, why you did a minute no, ago. Yeah, yes, you did. Yes. No, no, no. So, according to Ibn no, no, Majah. No, no, according to Ibn Majah. Why are you accusing him? Yeah. Why was you okay? Just accused? put this guy on camera. Why was yeah. you telling him? Is he on camera? So, he heckles me, but he doesn't want to debate me. This is the guy, name, guys. You get a name wrong. You this this name is the guy. So why did I want to raise this point? I'll just bring the camera over here. So what? So why? So why do I? Why do I raise this point? Why, Bob? Because Muslims attack the idea of the incarnation, because the infinite becomes finite in the incarnation, i.e., the divine takes onto itself a finite nature. And we describe the one person of Jesus Christ according to that finite nature. But according to their hadiths, the attribute of the glory of Allah is limited by the veil of Allah. And if the veil of Allah limits one of his attributes, then that means Muslims can have no objection to God limiting his attributes in the incarnation and veiling himself in flesh. Because if he can veil himself in light, why can he not veil himself in flesh? Right! <laughs>